Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. So my background is a little bit different, um, and the reason for that is because I am staying at my mother's house for a couple of days. Um, also, um, where my mother lives, there's a lot of roosters, so if you hear a noise, that's what it is. It's the rooster. Maybe you can just, maybe you can hear it right now. It just, it just made a noise right now. Okay, let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you, Libra. Here we go. Spray angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Libra, whoever it is that Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, let's get three shuffles. That was one. Two and three. What are this person's current feelings for Libra? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups in their feelings. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Two of Wands to the Three of Cups. Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. A lot of water energy. Some of you are dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I need to figure out who you are. Libra, okay. So Libra, I do feel like you walked away from a specific relationship here with the Eight of Cups. Um, you're headed towards the Nine of Cups. Hmm. So it kind of looks like you're headed towards um, filling your own cup. You're headed towards uh, emotional independence, um, being happy on your own. Hmm. I don't know what that means, actually. I'm going to take a look at that. What are you headed towards? Let me just take a look at that. So tell me about this Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, please. Almost feels like you're headed towards a new you, a new version of you, a better version of you, a happier version of you. But I'm also getting like emotional independence, a higher level of emotional independence than you've ever had before. So this relationship taught you about emotional independence is what I'm getting. Hmm. What well, can you tell me about this Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups? Ooh, geez, temperance. Okay, well, there it is. I just said that right now. This relationship taught you something. You know, temperance card um, is re related to lessons, you know, it, important lessons that we learn in life. Um, like I said, also temperance can represent like ascension, leveling up, becoming more grounded in your own energy, becoming more in tune with your own energy, with your own divinity, with your own spirituality, 
and with your own inner happiness. So you're walking away from this relationship feeling just a lot more balanced in your energy. Or, I mean, that's what you're headed towards. This is a little tricky, though. It's a little tricky. You're healing. I just feel like you're on a healing journey. I don't feel like you're there yet. I feel like you're you're on a healing journey. And you're you're taking some lessons with you. Hmm. Lessons about self-worth and about emotional independence. Emotional integrity is also what I'm getting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, look at the, the bottom of the deck. Magician. You're more empowered. I don't think you see this, Libra, though. That's the thing. I don't feel like you see this. Magician with the Seven of Cups, I feel like you're manifesting a lot of new opportunities into your life by walking away from this situation. Yeah, I don't feel like you see, see this because I don't know, I'm feeling sad. I feel like a very strong sadness. So I don't feel like you're in this happiness energy yet. I feel like that's where you're headed towards. That's what you're going to manifest and achieve for yourself is being happy and being fulfilled um, in, your, in your own energy or, you know, by your own self. And when this happens, it kind of looks like you're going to be attracting a lot of positive new opportunities into your life. This was a difficult road, though, with the Eight of Cups. This, this was a very difficult road for you to travel on. This was a difficult life lesson that you um, had to go through. Hmm. Huh. Okay. What's going on with this person here? Let me see if I'm getting their energy. Now I'm starting to feel like their energy might not be so strong here. I'm starting to feel like it's more of your energy. All right. Tell me about the four of cups. What can you tell me about the four of cups connected to this person's feelings for Libra? Current feelings. Oh, look, look who showed up here. The devil. The devil clarifying the four of cups. Mm -mm -mm. that's not good well I guess that makes sense now why you had this lesson this life lesson kind of looks like you were a part of a karmic relationship a negative karmic relationship this person definitely looks very toxic especially with this combination of cards. Um, I feel like you're dealing or you were dealing with someone very, very toxic, someone who had a lot of issues, especially someone who has a lot of issues, especially childhood, coming from childhood with the Four of Cups. Um, this person could have mother or father issues, like deep mother or father issues. Um, I'm also getting a, a, a fear, a lot of deep fears, um, specifically of abandonment. They have a fear of abandonment. They don't really manage their fears in a very um, healthy way. It kind of looks like, uh, what is that word?
they live a life that is, um, I don't know, salacious is the word, Precar precarious. Like, um, they connect to other, to many people, you know, they connect to many people. They, they form relationships and connections with many different people, um, to, to fill the void that they have inside of them, to fill the emptiness that they feel inside of them. Um, but the more this person gets involved with multiple people, the more empty they feel because, you know, their issue is coming from a different place. It's, it's, it's not that they need attention. It just feels like this person needs to um, figure themselves out. But I'm I'm not a therapist, so I'm not I'm not gonna say what exactly is wrong here with this person, you know. Cause I don't I'm not a professional. It just kind of looks like this person has a very strong feeling of emptiness that they try to cover up with, you know, having tons of different relationships and connections, and it just keeps getting worse for them. They keep feeling worse, kind of like uh, an addiction, you know, an addiction problem, like when someone's addicted to alcohol or drugs, but it feels like this person is addicted to like meaningless relationships, you know, if that makes sense. So kind of looks like that's what you unfortunately got caught, caught up in. But it seems like that's what you're getting out of as well, currently. Okay. Let's take a look at this person looks like they're not really motivated to do anything here. And their feelings for you, they feel defeated is what I'm getting. They feel powerless is also what I'm getting. Yeah, they feel defeated and they feel powerless. And they're, they seem to be um, indulging in a lot of bad behavior, you know? Indulging in um, their addictions. And perpetuating bad negative patterns in their life. Mm. All right, I want to take another look here. I'm going to do another spread to see um, their thoughts and feelings about you currently. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's current thoughts and feelings for Libra. Give me another spread here. Um, detailing their current thoughts and feelings for Libra. Get two shuffles, that's one. And that's two. Hopefully you can hear me well the, with the audio. This living room is a lot bigger than my office, so I don't know, the audio feels weird to me. It feels a little bit um, echoey. It sounds a little bit echoey. All right, one more shuffle and we can move forward. All right, Spirit, tell me about this person's current feelings and thoughts about Libra. Five of Cups in the reverse with the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Swords. What is this? To the Star, to the Five of Swords. 
the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see what this is about. Hmm. Oh, so this is kind of like anger. They're angry. Angry. Star in reverse, five of swords in reverse, six of wands. Okay, yeah, this is what I was saying. This person is angry and enraged, actually. It almost feels like even stronger than anger. It feels like it enraged. Star in reverse, five of swords in reverse, six of wands. Yeah, it feels like someone who's like really kind of diving into, deep diving into their bad patterns, into their old ways, into their, you know, addictions. It feels like they're deep diving into it. It's almost like, you know what, I don't even care about anything anymore. I don't care about anyone or anything anymore. I give up. I give up. Hmm. So I guess they were trying to get their act together. I didn't pick up on that, but... That's what they're saying here. They're saying that they were trying to get their act together. They were making the effort, but um, things just didn't work out between, didn't work out for them. Things didn't work out for them in their relationship with you. And they feel like they wasted their time. They feel like they didn't get the outcome that they wanted with you. So they feel like they wasted their time. So now they feel like they need to, now they want to just, you know, throw caution into the wind and forget about rules or structure or discipline and just kind of live, live life the way they want, they want it, they want to live it, whether it's right or wrong. That type of energy. So they're bitter towards you. They're holding a grudge against you. They feel like it's your fault. They feel like it's your fault that they're spiraling, you know, that they're spiraling into this, you know, black hole. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this person's putting blame on you. They're um They're not taking uh, accountability here for their actions. It's almost like they were making you responsible for their well-being. But the thing is that, you know, their well-being is their responsibility, not yours. They're, but they're making it seem like, you know, because of you, now they're not doing well. Now they're out of control. Now they're hitting rock bottom and spiraling out of control and returning back to their old patterns, you know? It's that type of energy. All right. I feel like this person sees red right now. So in regards to like their feelings and thoughts about you, it just kind of looks like right now all they see is red. If you know what that means, all they see is red. So like all they see is, you know, the hate, you know, right now. Anger, hatred. And rage. That's all they see right now. Hmm. What can you tell me about this King of Swords in reverse spirit, please? World, 
two of pentacles, four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, they, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you with the four of cups in reverse, you know, but instead of like taking responsibility for that, they're just blaming you for, for them missing out on an opportunity with you. I don't know. That's their psychology. Okay. That's their reasoning. Or their logic. All right. Let me take a deeper look now at what this person um, wants and desires with you deep, deep down inside. And then we'll see what's going to happen. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what does this person want and desire with Libra deep down inside, if anything. Let's see. What does this person currently want and desire with Libra deep down inside, if anything? Yeah, they're definitely looking at you like you're the bad guy. They're, they're painting you to be, they're painting you out to be the bad guy. All right. What does this person currently want and desire with Libra deep down inside? Here we go. All right, so we have death in the reverse with the justice card with the 10 of pentacles in the reverse. Mm. Quantum of the deck, eight of pentacles, king of pentacles with the moon, with the star in the reverse. Okay. This is what they want with you. Death in reverse, justice. What is this? What is this? Seven of swords here. Queen of swords, five of swords, king of swords again. All right, all right, give me a second. This person is definitely um, playing games here. That's what would happen if, if this relationship came back together with the justice card um, upright. So currently, what this person wants is to get back together with you, but it's not for good reasons, though. It's almost like they want to... Okay, re remember this person sees red right now. Right now, they're, they're in a cloud of anger. So what they're thinking right now is that they want to get back together with you so that they can get back at you, you know, so that they can um, have some sort of vengeance here. So that they can turn the tables on you. So that they can retaliate, you know, and, and um, like make you pay, you know, get even with you. I don't know in what way, but, you know, whatever they feel is, is your weaknesses or whatever they feel is, you know, um, the things that upset you or anger you or that might, might make you feel bad, I feel like that's what this person wants to do. Whatever that might be for you. Like they want, they want to upset you the way, the way they have been feeling upset. They want to make you as upset and as miserable as they've been feeling this, this whole time. You know, 
So that's the only reason why they would want to like get back together with you uh, right now, currently, if that makes sense. Again, I just feel like this person's in, this person's like, um, they're just not thinking right. They're not thinking correctly with the King of Swords in reverse, you know? Their mind is just out of whack right now. They're, they're, they're really in their, in their feelings here. This person is feeling like hurt and they're feeling betrayed. Again, I feel like you're just dealing with someone who's not seeing clearly right now. They're not seeing things clearly and they're just um, venting and throwing blame at anything and anyone except themselves, you know? All right, that was dark. All right, let's see what's gonna happen moving forward between you and this person. I would definitely say stay away from this person, Libra, because yeah, their energy is scary, actually. It's a little bit scary. All right, here we go. Let's see what's gonna happen between you and this person moving forward into the future. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, what can you tell me about what's going to happen between Libra and this person moving forward into the future, please? Okay, let's get two more shuffles, spirit. There goes the rooster. Those are um, confirmations of the reading. All right, Spray, what's going to happen between Libra and this person moving forward into the future? All right, here we go. First card we have is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay. We also have the world with the Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Cups and the Two of Cups what in the world? with the Ten of Swords with the King of Pentacles, the Empress in the reverse, Two of Wands. Page of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Wands. Well, 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 look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Hold the phone. Give me a second here. Nine of Cups in reverse to the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse to the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups in reverse. I see. Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups and the Fool. Okay. All right, let me go back over here. Knight of Wands, World in Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and the outcome. And this person's, um, they're gonna switch up in their energy pretty dramatically or drastically. But I feel like this person has a tendency to do this, to go from one extreme to, an, to the other extreme in their personality, in their feelings. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a second, Libra. I'm just trying to figure out where you're at. Where's Libra? Empress in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay, so you're not here. Well, that's good. I like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like this. I was a little worried. I thought I thought you were here, but no, 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 you're not here. No, you're you're not here. So 
you know, Libra, I feel like in the outcome, this person is going to connect to somebody else. They are going to be, they are going to find some other relationship here. And this other the relationship that they're going to find, it kind of looks like there's not a lot of emotion here within this relationship that they um, are going to fall into with the King of Cups in reverse. It just kind of looks like they're deciding to be in this relationship because um, of practical reasons with the King of Pentacles. We have, king, we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Um, this is not you. So they're going to choose to stick to this relationship for practical reasons. Like I said, um, with the Empress in reverse, this would be your energy. Um, I do feel like they're always going to feel like, you know, like they lost you, like they missed out on a good opportunity with you. You know, I don't feel like this person is changing. I don't feel like this ever this person's ever going to change is what I'm noticing about them. So, interesting. So they're going to stay bitter towards you. They are going to stay feeling bitter towards you. They are going to continue feeling like, you know, because of you, they didn't get their happily ever after. Because of you, they weren't able to achieve um, happiness and fulfillment. So they're going to stay with that mentality. I feel like this person is going to stay angry at you. Yeah, they're going to continue feeling angry at you. Um especially because they're going to find themselves in this relationship that they don't really f have any strong emotional connection to. It kind of looks like um, who they felt a strong emotional connection to was with you. But you're not in the picture, and um, like I said, they're going to stay feeling angry about that, and they're going to make it, look like it's all your fault. They're going to put all the blame on you. When they talk to people about you, they're going to say that you're that you betrayed them or that you left them, you abandoned them, you know? That's what they're going to say to people when they talk about you. I'm just being honest. I know this is a little bit heavy, but this is just this is what I see. That's not a nice thing to say, but that's what's showing up here, you know? All right. King of Wands, Fire of Wands. It's interesting because I feel like there, there is going to be a, an attempt in your direction with the Page of Cups. This person is going to attempt to um, recover their relationship with you. They're going to attempt to have a new beginning with you again. But they, I do see them ending up feeling disappointed here because, I don't know, how are you responding, actually? I don't see your response. How is Libra responding to this attempt? Or how is Libra going to respond to this attempt? So in regards to how you're going to respond, we have the Four of Pentacles, Libra. You're going to be closed off. You're going to be very, very protective of your heart, your emotions, and your energy. So I don't see you giving in to this person or allowing this person to come back into your life. It just kind of looks like this attempt is going to fail. And that's when they're going to connect to this other person. Um, and establish a relationship with this other person, but it's for practical reasons, like I said. And like I said, they're going to remain angry with you.
but that's not something you need to worry about. So pay no mind to that. Okay. I feel like you're dealing with someone who just doesn't know how to accept when they're wrong, you know, doesn't know how to accept and admit when they're wrong, accept that they're wrong and admit defeat, you know, I'm also getting the energy of someone who's going to tell people that they broke up with you, you know? For some of you, I'm getting that type of energy. Like, no, I broke up with Libra, not Libra. Not, not the other way around. Uh, this person has an energy of, like, wanting to feel important. It feels like someone who wants to feel important, wants to feel praised. wants to be seen as the good guy or wants other people to see them as the good guy. Uh, good guy, good girl, doesn't matter their gender. So yeah, that's what I see happening here. So where are you Libra? Cause I don't feel like I see you here. What's going on with Libra in, in Libra's life? Spirit, why is Libra not showing up in this spread? What's going to be happening in Libra's life? The judgment card is going to be happening. That's good. What do you mean by judgment, though? Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords. This is all their energy. Tell me about Libra, Libra, Libra. Why the judgment card in regards to... Yeah, judgment. You're making the final decision to let this go. Maybe you thought you would never reach that point. Okay. I feel like that's that's the good stuff coming towards you or ha or the good stuff that's going to happen for you that you're finally going to make the final decision to get rid of this whole relationship or connection that you were a part of. Maybe you thought you would never do that or reach that point. So it's going to feel really, really good. Tell me more about Libra and what's happening in Libra's life moving forward. Oh, geez, Ace of Pentacles. All right. So a, new, a, a, a very big new opportunity, a very big new, uh, new beginning. This could be related to business, to work. This could also be a new relationship. I'm not going to specify because it's going to be different for all of you. But just know that... There is a very um, beautiful new opportunity that will present itself to you. Yeah, and it kind of looks like you're vibrating at a higher vibration, and that's why you're going to be attracting this successful opportunity here towards you. Okay, that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.